Hey, it's me, Emma. You probably won't even recognize me. So, to refresh your memory, I looked like this when I was a baby. Hello, you. <gasps> that's my girl. Ring any bells? Yep, that's me. I'm the daughter of Ross and Rachel. And of course, that's my Uncle Joey. Uncle Chandler, Aunt Phoebe, Aunt Monica, and that's my stepbrother, Ben, who has now become a successful Hollywood teen star. He's actually playing Jughead these days on a TV show called Riverdale. Oh. <laughs> Disappoint. Speaking of heads, I think Aunt Monica bashing his head on the roof really worked out quite well for him, right? I mean, he loves that role so much that he is acting like Jughead in our house, too. Take a look at this. In case you haven't noticed, I'm weird. I'm a weirdo. I don't fit in, and I don't want to fit in. Have you ever seen me without this stupid hat on? That's weird. I know exactly what you're feeling because I have been there. How does this look? <laughs> well, it's, it's a little low. Pick it up a little. A little bit more. A little bit more. There you go. <laughs> Enough about him. The reason I'm talking to you guys today because my mom always tells me how much she misses her friends. So I wanted to surprise her by getting all of them together one more time. But quickly, before we do that, let's find out how they are doing. Let's start with Uncle Joey. Uncle Joey moved to LA to pursue his acting career, and guess what? It turned out to be a very good decision for him. He even won an Emmy. Very successful actor now, in fact. He is who helped Ben land that role on Riverdale, although it hasn't always been a sweet ride for him. He even briefly got arrested, but he got lucky. Listen, isn't there some way you could just give me like a slap on the wrist? Hey, Joey! Hey! Do you why? You got me. Looks like we did. <laughs> <laughs> now he lives in the suburbs, still single, and let's see what he's up to. Oh shit! What? No way! <laughs> oh my god. Have you been here the whole time? Yeah. Just like Uncle Joey, Aunt Phoebe also got arrested and actually served a year in prison for shoplifting at Pottery Barn. Anyway, here's her daughter, Sophie, checking up on her in Litchfield Penitentiary. How are you? How's school going? Are you making new friends? I really miss DC. Yeah, I do too. Also my freedom. But honey, it's important to adapt. Try to fit in. That's why I joined a gang. <coughs> when I say gang, I'm in club. Basically, it's a book club. Wait, what? I did what I had to do. You take away my sourdough bread, you're gonna get poisoned. Time's up, huh? I guess she was dead serious when she said, You know what? If we were in prison, you guys would be like my bitches. <laughs> After serving a year in prison, she somehow landed the job of psychology teacher in a community college. And yes, she is still working on her rage. Okay, I just goddamn shit. Goddamn messed up. Really goddamn shit bad. Goddamn shit goddamn. Okay, don't get me wrong, because I I love it, but I just, I don't think you're supposed to use that kind of language in front of a student. Yeah, you know what else you're not supposed to do is sleep with them. But that didn't stop me. Goddamn shit. I hope they beep out some of that. And yes, she cheated on Uncle Mike. Speaking of Uncle Mike, 
He couldn't handle that. So he moved to the suburbs with his best mate, Marshall Erickson, and his wife, Lily, and they must be doing some weird stuff right now. Let's take a peek. Look, that guy needs to fart. It's pretty clear, but he doesn't know her well enough to do it in front of her, so I assume they haven't slept together. He does seem to be clenching. Yeah, he doesn't want to fart. Watch, when he gets enough space, he can let one rip, I guarantee you. Wait for it. Fart. Boom. That's a fart, motherfucker. Oh, That's a fucking fart. Speaking of weird stuff, let's talk about favorite Aunt Monica and Uncle Chandler. Well, they moved to Westchester, where after failing to establish a career in advertising, Uncle Chandler went on to direct a comedy show, which makes sense, because my mom always tells me how funny he is. Where on the other hand, Aunt Monica adopted two baby twins with Uncle Chandler. Meet Erica Bing and Jack Bing. I think they are going on a date today. I like a nice Chianti. And not just because that's what Hannibal Lecter would drink when he ate people. Hannibal who? Lecter from the movie Silence of the Lambs. They were silent lambs? Well, no, not really. They were more of a symbol. Well, the next thing I'm gonna tell you, you're probably gonna lose your shit, so. Guess what? My father was never a paleontologist, and that was just a cover job for him. In all these years, he's been working for NSA. Wait, I wasn't supposed to tell you guys that. It's supposed to be classified information. Hope they can cut this in post-production. Anyway, let's see what he's up to. It's like I'm finally rubbing you off. Rubbing off on you. I'm you're rubbing, rubbing off on me. You wish. <laughs> Rachel. Well, I guess now I know why he calls himself Red Ross. And finally, my lovely mother, who actually had a very stable career at Ralph Lauren, and now she is actually the CEO of Ralph Lauren. I think her fortunes changed when she married Dad. Now, quickly, I'm gonna stop by her office and surprise her, but more importantly, I'm there to know her schedule so I can plan the get-together for her. Please excuse me. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm so happy to see this face. Oh my God, what an awesome surprise. Hi, honey. Oh, you didn't have to leave school to come and see me. Oh, actually, my class came into town for the day to see a play. Well, that got emotional way too quick. But I guess very understandable because she doesn't really get to see me much because of her busy schedule. Moving on. We moved to Westchester so we could be close to Aunt Monica and Uncle Chandler. And you know what? It's been really great for both of our families. Especially for my family because my mom really needed the emotional support because dad spends most of his time on classified missions doing Red Ross stuff. Anyway, enough of that emotional drama. Let's get the band back together. So, let's get them on a video call. Hi. Hello, Aunt Monica. Aunt Phoebe. Hello. Hello, Uncle Chandler. Hey, Uncle Joey. How you doing? What? Okay, now that everyone is settled, the reason I'm doing this is because my mom really misses you guys, and I'm hoping to surprise her with a get-together. So, would you guys be open to it? Uncle Chandler, you awake? Motion to strike. Motion to strike. No. Okay. I will take that as a yes. Hey, Uncle Mike. I wasn't expecting you to be here. It's been a while. Well, <laughs> let's do this then. Now, the Friends Reunion Special is going to be released on HBO Max, which is available in very few countries at the moment. And if you don't live there, then how are you going to watch it? Well, that's why we partnered up with NordVPN today, because it allows you to bypass internet censorship, which means even if you don't live in the country where HBO Max is available, all you need to do is select the location of the country where it is available, connect it, and boom, you can now watch HBO Max. Same can be done with other streaming services like Disney+, Plus, Netflix, Prime Video, whatever, so you can access shows from different countries with a click of a button. Plus, it does so many things like encrypting your internet, protects your online identity, and so much. That's why we're offering you guys a special deal only for our viewers. Now, if you sign up using our code SCRNCULT, then you can get 68% off on a two-year plan, plus one additional month for free. So that's just over three bucks a month, which is really cheap when it comes to your security, your privacy, and more importantly, your entertainment. 
So sign up to NordVPN using our code SCRN Cults. That's C U L T to get 68% off on a two year plan and one additional month for free. And I almost forgot the link to sign up is in the description down below. Okay, let's get back to the video. Now, in the last episode, my mom's friends agreed to do a surprise get together for her. They're probably planning something right about now. So let's check up on my mom to see what they're up to. Seems like she got some idea on what's happening, all thanks to my smart Uncle Joey. Although she doesn't have any idea on what scale we're planning this. Speaking of planning this, let's see what our Uncle Joey is up to. Say it. Forget it. Say it. Say it now. 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 How you doing? because he has his fingerprints all over the reunion. Hey man, thanks for doing this. Hey, thanks for having me. Really great to see you again. Yeah, you too, man. <laughs> you know, you're like the only one I don't keep in touch with. Seriously? Yeah. Yes, that was Gunther in all his glory. He left his Central Perk job when my mom left the apartment, and now he's the stadium manager of New York Rangers. Why New York Rangers? Well, mainly because he is a huge fan, but also because of this. He even told me a while back that he actually became a fan of the New York Rangers only after that game when my father got his teeth knocked out. What a guy, by the way. Uncle Chandler comes here as well to play some ice hockey. Or at least he tries to play. I've never been in so much pain in my entire life. Can we just go back to the way things used to be? You get up, I'm gonna knock you right back down again. It's cold out here. Smile. It's gonna picture your journey. Anyway, here's Uncle Joey again, planning the reunion with the help of his colleagues and famous actors David Schwimmer and Matthew Perry who, by the way, look a lot like Uncle Chandler and my dad. David, 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 I don't know what joke you're talking about. Tell me what I said to you. Oh, no, I can see that. You gotta admit, though, it's still kind of funny. <laughs> Mr. Perry, how the hell are you? Who said you're not the first one I called? Schwimmer's in it. I never said you were in no, I did not. I did not. I don't know. He was probably high. If I said you were high, I was obviously kidding. It was a joke. It's not going well so far, but I'm sure that Uncle Joey will bring it home. Till then, let's take a look at what Aunt Phoebe and Uncle Mike is up to. Well, in the last episode, I told you that Aunt Phoebe cheated on Uncle Mike. Well, about that. Turned out it was a prank, but even before Aunt Phoebe could explain herself, Uncle Mike left her and moved out. Don't worry though, cause later my mom fixed that misunderstanding, but here's the thing, Aunt Phoebe doesn't know that. So my mom and Uncle Mike cooked up an evil plan to mess with her, and also my dad as well. So let's take a peek on what they cooked up. I, uh, I can't do this right now. You didn't turn off your computer. Eventually, the whole situation was cleared up, and I swear it went like this. But see, they don't know that we know that they know. <laughs> so... Ah, uh, yes. The messers become the messies. Although my dad still doesn't know that it was actually a prank, so let's see how Uncle Mike is dealing with the Red Ross. You can't run over the rights of the people who own this property with your goddamn bulldozer. Eventually, he also figured out that it was a prank. So now that all the dust is settled, it's time to get back to Uncle Joey. Because he did it. He actually pulled it off. He planned the perfect get-together ever. So let me tell you the plan. First of all, Uncle Joey got in touch with his Hollywood friends and invited all of us to a talk show. 
Now except mom, everyone knows that they are actually the guests on the show and not just there to support Uncle Joey from the audience. So finally the moment all of us have been waiting for. Let's surprise my mom. Although Uncle Chandler couldn't make it to the get-together because he's actually directing his first superhero comedy movie, Ant-Man, starring Paul Rudd, who coincidentally looks a lot like Uncle Mike. Anyway, so Uncle Chandler is in Tulsa, Oklahoma, shooting the movie, but he has a special message for us. Hello, everyone. I wish I could be there tonight celebrating the incredible career of Jimmy Burrow. And now, please welcome to the stage my friends, Rachel Ross... Monica, Phoebe, and Joey were not only friends with each other, we all wanted to be friends with them. We experienced friendship, family, heartbreak, babies, everything together. Get along and get to know one another and be kind to one another support one another and watch one another and help one another. And play poker. Well, I have to say, at the beginning, it was not a hard thing. We really just wanted to hang out with each other. We, it was not a, we have to do this. We really just fell in love and adored each other instantly and would hang out at each other's houses. And the boys went to a ranger game, and Ross was hit in the face with a puck. Ah! Wow, that was very emotional. My mom even told me after this get-together is the best thing anyone has ever done for her. I'm so happy right now, and I can't even put it in words, but I'd like to say thank you to all of you for coming with me on the beautiful journey, and let's hope that we will get the reunion we deserve. Thank you so much, and goodbye. Don't forget to like and subscribe.